When I talk to patients who are living in, in poverty, they, they really do talk about reparations. We need housing, we need health care, we need water, we want our kids in school. And, you know, I think that of, among the various interventions we can make, we got to remember that those so pragmatic should the UN steps. be responsible for that? I think the UN is responsible. I think the world is responsible. I think that everybody who in the past tried to move Haiti out of the fraternity of nations during the 19th century and rec uh, failed to recognize its uh, its legitimacy as a nation. I think the French, who made extorted money from Haiti, um, are responsible. I think I could go right through the list, you know. And I do think, I do believe, as you've read in this book and others, that I believe in that kind of assessment of responsibility. The question is, again, what are the mechanisms by which we may offer reparations? And some of them have to involve transfer of resources to do those tasks that have not yet been done. And in doing that, uh, obviously, we further the, the goals of, of public health and medicine in Haiti, but also education, building businesses, et cetera. You can't, you know, really uh, hope to have um, investment, local investment from local, uh, uh, I was going to say business, but as you know, I mean micro enterprise, et cetera, if people are sick and uh, if people are always living in fear of the next epidemic and, and want. And, and so I think um, we're all responsible. Anyway, I, I, I hope to be involved in this long term.